information or if you want to make donations, if you want to get involved, um, there's information on our program. You can talk to one of us after the show. Um, what you're going to see today is a really interesting piece because it sparks its uh, basis in, in historical comedy, which is Commedia dell'arte, which is Italian for um, comedy, the art of comedy, basically. So um, it's going to be really interesting. There's a lot of different things. It's going to be very funny. Um, I'm Amber. This is Jordan, my co-director, by the way. So everything you see, we told her to. And if they do it wrong, so I hope you enjoyed the show, and um, the actors will be out in the lobby later to ask questions, talk to you, take pictures, just have a good time. So we hope you enjoy. Thank you for coming. Oh, my God. 
bravo, bravo, bravo. Oh. <laughs> you see, the sheriff of Nottingham. The sheriff pretended to be a good sheriff, but we all know he was a big, awful bully. I was. Oh, yes, I was. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
realized he needed help. You know, I could use some help. The first helper he found was a man named John Little. Oh, Rosetta, that's you. John Little was seven feet tall. Seven feet? Oh, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Don't look down. <laughs> One day, while Robin was walking through the forest, he came upon a beautiful stream.
Robin Hood then prove it.
about your contest. Robert, did you hear a golden arrow? Yes, I did. The contest took place on a beautiful day. There were merchants, merchants from all over the countryside. There were beggars and greengrocers and smithies and a princess and cotton candy and popcorn. And I went on the spinning teacups and I had so much fun. It was the greatest contest ever. Yes, Even Prince John made an appearance. Hello, I am the silly and foolish Prince John. I just broke out of the dungeon to say that even though I am a puppet and very stupid indeed, and at least I didn't let Robert Hood steal my sack of gold. How? Hey, you got your gold. <laughs> <laughs> you, you silly little puppet, back to the dungeon for you. Help, help, I mean you, sir. <laughs> On the day of the contest, the sheriff forced Maid Marion to be keeper of the target. There were soldiers all around her waiting to cut her head off. Made a wrong move. Also seated beside the sheriff was his proud young daughter, Lady Ludacris, who was hoping to receive the golden arrow from the victor and be proclaimed queen. Ludacris, my daughter, are you enjoying yourself? Oh, these are all stupid people! Stupid! And I'm so poor! I'm so very poor! Yeah! I thought you would enjoy yourself. I would!
who is a beautiful girl, Poppy. You should certainly want to marry her. A girl, Poppy, beautiful, where? Never you mind. But well, maybe I'm her side. Would you just be quiet and stay in that dungeon for one time in your life? Oh. <laughs> where was that? Where, oh, yes. Next! My ears went wrong. Oh, all right. Do overs. You'll miss it, you know. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. 
the donkey, who found his way back, lived happily and grew old together. Then, one day, many years later, Robin Hood, now very, 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 very old, asked for his bow and one stout arrow. Merry men, merry men, wearing coats of green. green. Merry men, merry men, arrows are beneath. next weekend um, on the 17th at the uh, Hopkinsville Muse uh, Library and uh, on the 18th at the Fort Campbell Rec Center. Um, Toys is the theater organization for youth by students. And it's all produced, directed, and uh, starring students from Austin Peay. So we're very excited that this is our first touring show to go to different areas instead of just staying on campus. Uh, as, she, uh, as she was saying, uh, Everything was completely designed and built by all of us in a crew and a lot of the cast. And uh, and so you can see the hard work in, that we put into it mm -hmm. when you come see it, and it's great. It's a wonderful show, so come see it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 